Salam, this video lecture, uh, the monetary approach to the balance of payment in middle international economics to uh, Matron. So, a simple monetary model. There are three key assumptions that underline the monetary model, right? These are a stable money demand function, vertical aggregate supply curve, and purchasing power parity, right? So, uh, the first one is a stable money demand function. A stable demand function, money demand, what? All the demand for uh, just nominal money balance is equal to uh, K or the parameter K times the price, uh, the domestic price uh, times uh, the uh, output, right? Domestic income or output, right? Where K greater eh, than zero margin, right? Basic formula, a stable uh, uh, money demand function gets a margin, right? So uh, where MD mallet, demand for nominal money balance mallet, no? P is the price, right? P is the price, the price of domestic level, right? The other one, Y is what? The income, domestic income, right? And K is the parameter that measures the sensitivity of money demand to change the nominal income as well. Money demand, uh, nominal income, CK year, money has sensitive no million, million column parameter no matter, right? So uh, a simple monetary model, so but uh, a rise in the domestic price, right? A rise in the domestic price level will reduce the real money balance, right? I've, as you have seen here, this is the real money uh, supply. This is the price level, right? This is the price level. So, uh, uh, so a rise in the domestic uh, price level will reduce what? The real money balance, this one, M over P, that is this one, this one right? So if this, uh, the price level is equal to P2, would the P1 be made by the know? What? Y2, would the Y1 have the math, right? So let's see, by the way, many are the shift the other math, right? So uh, according to lead uh, to an equivalent or IQ proportionate increase in the demand for money, right? So, so uh, the other one is uh, vertical aggregate supply curve. The vertical aggregate supply curve, this is the supply, right? Aggregate supply one, aggregate supply two, right? Supply is increasing from uh, supply one to supply two, right? Aggregate supply one to supply two, right? This is the price level. This is the real income, right? This is the real income. This is the real income, right? So uh, the simple monetary model uh, just assumes that the labor market is sufficiently flexible that the economy is what? Continuously at the full employment level of output, right? In other words, what? Wages are sufficiently flexible that they are just constantly at the level that equates the supply and the demand for labor, right? Right? So, uh, by this one, you can express uh, 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 what? Uh, vertical aggregate supply, right? This is when the income is increased, when the aggregate supply is increased, what? The income increased, right? The income is increased from Y1 to Y2. When? What? Aggregate supply increased from Aggregate supply one, two, aggregate supply two, right? They are just directly uh, proportional, right? So, uh, and also aggregate supply is what? Vertical means it is always in the full uh, employment level, right? Full employment level. So the other one is uh, purchasing power parity. The purchasing power parity. Just, it is just a simplified version of the theory it says that what exchange rate adjusts so as to keep the following uh, equation in equilibrium, right? That means as uh, exchange rate uh, or purchasing power parity is equal to, this is exchange rate, right? Exchange rate is equal to what? Domestic price over what? The foreign price, right? That means we can just calculate the price of domestic is equal to what? Exchange rate times what? The price of foreign, right? Where uh, S means exchange rate, defined as the domestic per unit of foreign currency that means so that the rise in the a rise is a depreciation and a fall is what appreciation of the domestic currency this uh, one uh, rise for right rise for the no depreciate one amount right domestic uh, domestic uh, currency depreciate one on and you know fall moment no appreciate one amount no domestic currency basic formula am mechanism Right, but what are the two styles? Check start with me. No, this is value rise are gamma to margin depreciate one amount. Yes, value uh, lower one for one matter more 
appreciate one of my domestic price, right? So by this way, you can uh, calculate uh, purchasing power parity, right? So uh, the purchasing power parity curve shows that a uh, combination of the domestic price level, the exchange rate, which are just compatible with the purchasing power parity given the foreign price level uh, P uh, foreign or price of foreign, right? So as you have seen here, uh, this is a purchasing power parity. This is the price uh, one, price one. This is what? S1, S1 means exchange rate. This is exchange rate. This is what price level, right? This is uh, price one uh, and exchange rate one. This one is uh, the point which is equilibrium, right? So, because you would like my element to over valuation no matter, under valuation no matter, right? Point to the left of the PPF, okay. So uh, the point, uh, Igata, uh, point to the left of uh, the purchasing power parity curve uh, depicts an overvaluation, right? So of the domestic currency in the PPT, uh, PP uh, purchasing power parity, whereas the point to the right, this one means, uh, is undervaluation, right? Undervaluation, right? So the simplified uh, or the simple monetary model uh, invokes the three assumptions set out above and just uh, then proceed with uh, the use of some accounting identities and behavioral assumptions to develop a theories of the balance of payment, right? So the domestic uh, monetary supply in the economy is made up of uh, two components, right? This is uh, money supply, right? This is uh, domestic money base, right? The domestic money base is equal to what? Uh, domestic bond uh, plus uh, the monetary uh, the uh, holding, right? The reserve, right? Reserve, what you call? It's a reserve. Where just MS means what? Domestic money base, the base money, or uh, the base money, right? And D means uh, domestic bond holding, right? The bond of the monetary authorities. And R is what? The reserve of foreign currency valued in the domestic uh, currency, right? So by using this, uh, we can express, right? So uh, the monetary base has a uh, just come in circulation in one of the two ways, right? The one is uh, maybe open market operation, the other one may be a foreign exchange operation, right? So uh, the authority may uh, conduct open uh, market operation, right? Open market uh, operation. That means, uh, which is what purchasing of a treasury bond held by the private agent by the central bank, right? This uh, increases uh, central bank's monetary liability, but increases what? It's a set of domestic bond holding, which is what? Domestic components of the monetary base as represented by D, right? As represented by, by, by D, this one, right? D, this one, right? So, uh, so a residual is a So the authority may uh, conduct a foreign exchange uh, operation, foreign exchange operation demo. Uh, conduct their retail matter. That means, which is what? A purchasing of foreign currency. This is a purchasing foreign currency asset, money or foreign treasury bonds held by private agent by central banks. This again just increase the central bank of just money liability but increase its asset of foreign currency and the foreign bonds which are just represented by R, right? R, the reserve, right? Slazy, foreign exchange operation means no reserve, no, but open market uh, operation uh, just uh, holds what d right right the d or maybe a domestic bond holding right by the uh, monetary authorities right so uh, we can now rewrite the above equation in its derivative form uh, this is a derivative or the change in uh, what the base money or uh, uh, the base money is equal to derivative of uh, reserve holding by the monetary authorities plus uh, the reserve by a uh, domestic uh, what banks or maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, by a central bank maybe a reserve right reserves so this equation states that an increase in any increase or decrease in the domestic money supply can come about through either what 
open market uh, operation as represented by TB, derivative of T or the change of T or maybe just uh, foreign exchange operation as represented by derivative of what reserve or change in R right by this way so uh, the monetary view balance of payment uh, surplus and deficit as a monetary flow due to what stop disequilibrium in the money market so a deficit in the balance of payment is due to what an exchange of stocks of money in relation to to what money demand right well a surplus in a monetary flow results from an excess demand right an excess demand an excess demand right for this uh, the money in relation to uh, the stock of uh, money supply right so those uh, balance of payment uh, disequilibrium is merely what a reflection of disequilibrium right right a reflection of disequilibrium in the money market or the exchange market right so in this sense uh, the monetary flow are just autonomous items in the balance of payment well it just the purchasing and sales of goods are service and investment or long medium or short maybe the investments are just viewed as what accommodating items right so uh, monetary 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 uh, observe that the overall balance of payment can be what thought of as just constituting of the current account balance and capital account balance and the change in authorities reserve right that is what Balance of payment is equal to current account plus capital account plus the reserve, right? Reserve, the reserve, right? The change in reserve, the derivative of reserve, right? Is equal to what? Zero. Because it is a, if it is a balance of payment, is, if it is in equilibrium, it must be equal to zero, right? So current account uh, plus uh, capital is equal to minus of dr, right? Minus of dr, where CA is current account balance right k is what capital account balance dr is the changing authority reserve right so the balance payment is the monetary balance of payment right the balance of payment the monetary balance of payment right if the recorded uh, just uh, dr or the reserve in the balance payment uh, account is what positive this means that the combined current account and capital account are in deficit right if it's positive if the r in this equation right in this equation is this uh, number is positive if it's positive what if it's positive what then this means current account and what capital account are in a deficit in deficit in shortage right but this uh, implies that the reserve have fallen as the authority have purchased the home uh, currency with foreign currency reserve right so uh, in the above equation increasing reserve due to a purchase of foreign currency uh, just constitutes of a surplus in the balance of payment right well uh, a falling just reserve results uh, from purchase of the domestic uh, currency represent what a deficit in the balance of payment right right so if the authority do not just intervene in the foreign exchange market what this is the currency left float right <laughs> then the reserve do not change as fast or as far as just the monetary view is concerned in the balance payment is in equilibrium right so under floating exchange rate regime uh, current account uh, deficit must be what financed by an equivalent capital inflow right capital inflow so the balance of payment is in what equilibrium right so in floating right be careful right this is uh, what we need to consider right so in the upcoming video, we are just going to uh, see how uh, uh, devaluation affect right uh, the monetary approach. Uh, we are uh, busy in the Amazon. So um, thank you.